finally, this is the Core U300. Everybody has been wanting a lever style smart door lock for Apple Home, and we finally have one. Yes. In today's video, I'm going to tell you five things that you're going to want to know about this smart lever before you decide to buy it. Let's jump into the video. First off, I want to thank Accord for sending this out to me for a full honest review, but this is not sponsored in any other way as I do not allow sponsorships on any of my channels. Now, the first thing that you're going to want to know is the functionality and what this lock is for. Now, a lot of North America doors have actually two locks for outer doors. That's the deadbolt. That's where most smart locks are going to be placed. And then below that is a latch type of door lock. And there hasn't been many latch style smart locks for Apple Home. And the ones that are out there are more shaped like a knob. Well, this is the first lever style that I've seen for Apple Home. And to best of my knowledge, it's the first one on the market for Apple Home. And I'm pretty excited. Now this lock is packed full of features. There are multiple ways that you can unlock this. You can obviously use your fingerprint. That's probably going to be your primary way of opening this up, but you can also have pin codes for yourself for guests, for family members. Then you can also open this up via Apple Home Keys if you want to use your phone or your Apple Watch, which is a fun way to open this up. Acora also sells an NFC card that you can give to people if that's what you choose. Extra fee for that, obviously. And then there's a physical key, which I'll talk more about in a moment. Plus, this works with a lot of smart home assistants, which is my second thing that you need to know about this is that it works with Apple Home, which is my primary platform. You will need a HomePod mini or a newer HomePod with thread and matter to be the border router. You can also have this with Alexa, Google, and smart things, as long as you have their matter and thread uh, devices. You can also have this with your Core system. So if you have our Core M3 hub, you can automate within or the Core app, which I highly recommend you having if you have other Core products. It just works a lot faster and better automations within the Core app. For instance, if you have a U100 or U50 lock on the same door, you had the deadbolt and the latch, you don't want to sit there and put your fingerprint on both. You can actually just use the U100 and have an automation that says when the U100 unlocks, it will also unlock the U300. Works really quick and fast within their core app. It's a little bit slower in the Apple Home app. Also note, setting up user fingerprints and or the Accor NFC card is only done through the Accor app. You can set up pin codes and users either through their core app or through the Apple Home app. It's totally up to you, but fingerprints is only in a core. Now, the third thing that you're gonna to wanna to know is about the battery and water resistance. This is a battery operated smart lock with four AA batteries that they say last about 10 months. Obviously, I haven't had that long, but I'll update the pin comment down below or in the description. If you guys have had it, let me know what your battery life is like. Let's share it with the community. Also take note, if those batteries die and you're locked out, you can actually connect a USB power battery to the USB ports on the outside. There's one on either side, depending on which side you install the lever. And talking about the lever, it is reversible. So if you have a right hand door, you want it pointed to the left. If you have a left hand door, you want it pointed to the right and can simply turn it by removing the screw in the back of the front or the outside part. And then additional screw on the inside part. It's really simple to do. And it's just a little silver screw that you remove, put, uh, rotate it, and then put the screw back in. Super easy in those videos on how to do it. I'll link down below. Now, as far as water resistance, they have an IPX4, which you can install this on an exterior door. Now, this is not as water resistant as the U50 or U100, but could definitely take a little bit of water, some rain, but it does have a slightly lower rating than those other two or core locks. So just be aware of that. I think most people are gonna be installing this inside, but if you did want to install it outside, it's definitely possible. It has a weather seal on the outside to help protect it uh, with that IPX4. 
score rating. And now moving on to the fourth thing that you need to know is about the auto lock and passage mode. By default, this is going to be an auto lock. So when you unlock it via one of those ways I mentioned earlier, it's going to lock again within probably about five to eight seconds. Unfortunately, there's no setting within the app saying how long it's going to be unlocked for. Now you can put this in passage mode by hitting the button on the inside of the lock and then authenticating with your fingerprint or your password. And this will allow the lock to stay unlocked until taken out of passage mode. Unfortunately, there's no way to lock the lock from the outside and keep it in passage mode like some other smart locks I've seen. So to lock this, you will have to press a button on the inside and then go out and it will lock. Unfortunately, there's no way to lock it from the outside. And then when you return, you're gonna to have to unlock it, then press the button on the inside again, and then authenticate to put it back into passage mode. It's just a little bit of extra step and hassle. I wish it functioned more like a regular key and stay in passage mode and then you can lock it from the outside. But unfortunately, they just don't have that feature right now. And now for the fifth and final thing, talking about keys, you can rekey this. I'm sure this is gonna be voiding your warranty, so be aware of that. And it's not for everybody. Um, understand that there are little wires and springs. You really have to watch my video on how to do this. And also understand that it's a five pin Schleg like key. So if you have other keys, five pin Schleg like keys in your other locks like I do, then you can definitely rekey it to the same number as those other keys. But if you wanted to change out the cylinder, there's just too many cylinders and too many locks. If you have a quick set, I just don't know. I just know this works. You can easily rekey this with a five pin Schleg like key. You can just re replace the pins. Um, I did a whole entire video because it's step by step, a couple warnings of how to do this and what not to do. If you guys want to see that video, click on the card in the top right. And now for a bonus thing that you need to know before you decide to buy this, the core is telling me that the silver model that you see in my video is not going to be available until November. Unfortunately, only the black version is going to be available today. Just heads up. It's, they had some issues or something, but just know that it is coming. But if you did want that silver version, you're going to have to wait a month or so. And of course, tell me the U300 is only going to be available in North America, Australia, and the Southeast Asia at the time of this launch. Don't know if they're ever going to bring it to Europe. I think most Europe latches or locks are mortise locks, and that's not this type of lock. So um, if you have a latch, maybe you can get it working. I find it somehow, but it's not going to be available in Europe at the time of this launch or in the near future, as far as I know. All in all, this is an awesome lock. I do want to point out, I'm impressed with the build quality. They definitely improved their build quality from the U100 to the U50, and now the U300, it keeps getting better and better. And I absolutely love this latch style lever. All right, guys, let me know what you guys think of this. If you have any questions, make sure you smash that like button. Please subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next video.